Alright everyone, get ready for some almost excitement. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sound a little funny today. I woke up and my sore, my sore, my throat was sore. My sore was throat, sorry. My throat was sore, I have this weird mucus thing going on, so I think I'm sick, which is really not good. Um, I woke up this morning, weighed in at 2.20, not a big surprise really. Um, but I put an ads on, I know this is going to sound corny, but I put an ads on Craigslist for a personal trainer. So far I've gotten four replies, four replies, and today, this afternoon after work, I'm going to go and work out with one of them, and then Thursday I'm working out with another one. This is Ben, he's the one that I'll be working with first, and then... This is Tawny, and she's the one that contacted me first, but she wasn't open till Thursday evening. So I'll be working with her Thursday evening. I'm just... Uh, I need to get kick-started somehow and learn what I'm doing in the gym, so I thought this would be a good idea. Um, Ben's charging me 20 Tawny's charging me $15. Um, I don't know about the other two. They haven't um, gotten back to me yet. They kind of got back to me a little late. So we'll see what they want to charge me and if I can afford that. But I'm very excited to get started with um, a personal trainer, just like I said, so that I know what the heck I'm doing. And to have someone to, you know, motivate me at least to start off with, even if I don't stick with them, you know, for the whole journey, just, you know, for a month or so just to keep me going. Because honestly, half a month... <laughs> half a month without any weight change. It's good that there was no gaining, but I'm not uber happy that there was no loss, I suppose. Um, I owe someone minutes on the elliptical. I'm going to put off doing that. Apparently I have a text message from Ben. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm going to put off doing that until I can get an SD card for my brand new camcorder. I went over to Walmart, it was like 30 bucks. I thought it said it had a little SIM card that came with it, but it that little sign apparently just meant that the SIM card is available, or can be used. So I wasn't uber happy about that. Not too much going on right now. Um, on May 3rd, let me scoot you guys over for just a second. On May 3rd, I, I play jazz, I sing jazz, I love jazz sometimes. But on May 3rd, Wayne Bergeron let's see, is going to be coming, and I get to perform with him. Wayne Bergeron, May 3rd, at the college. So I'm uber excited about that. And I don't know if you guys know who Wayne Bergeron is, so I brought up one of his biographies, and I thought I would tell you. Wayne Bergeron has worked on 300, the TV show, soundtracks, um... Partial list of film credits include Toy Story 3, Pixie Hollow Games, Despicable Me, Sorcerer's Apprentice, uh, 2012 Percy Jackson, Surrogates, G4, Star Trek, Hancock, Court and Here's a Who, Superman Returns, Pirates of the Caribbean 1, 2, and 3, Ratatouille. Um, numerous TV credits include shows like NBC, ESPN, and TNT Sports Themes, Entertainment Tonight Theme. American Idol, 2001 and 2002, Emmy Awards, Grammy Awards, Latin Grammys, it's just, this guy is amazing, and <laughs> we were uber excited to find out that our, our main trumpeter, who's also like the conductor, band leader, there's not really a band leader in jazz, but that's what we call him, he's in charge of everyone, tells us that we're doing it all wrong. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I got him to come. We're like, oh my gosh! So, I gotta play with, or I gotta perform with Wayne Bergeron on May 3rd. I'm so excited! If everything works out right, I'll post a little video of it. It was a little double chin going on. It needs to go away. <laughs> Eventually. Well, just real quick, my challenge is still up. I don't have any funny videos to post for you today. Although, I might be working on a banana love song. I wonder why. Anyways, I it's 9.14. Should have been awake like an hour ago, but I'm up late. Oh my gosh. I'm going to skedaddle, and I will post you later about my training.
so I probably should have read that text message. That was my, that was Ben. He's like, yeah, I got called it because he's, he works at a hospital. He's like, yeah, I got called in last night on call, so we're not going to be able to do it today, but we can reschedule on Sunday. I was like, oh, all right. Yay. So I don't get to work out with my trainer, one of the many <laughs> at the moment, until Thursday. I was trying, I'm trying to get her to see if she might be available this afternoon, but she's not answering. But she pretty much said that her afternoons were booked, so I'm not hoping on that one. I worked out on my own yesterday, though, and I did I did some interval running and just, like, stuff like that, and it, I felt a lot better than when I normally just, like, see how far I can run, I guess. So all the research that I did on interval running is true. Whether it d promotes weight loss, I don't know, but it does, um, it feels a lot better. Speaking of feeling better, I may, for like the past three days, I've had this huge pot of beans in my slow, or not my slow cooker, but my crock pot working. And finally, they were all finished, just, you know, the perfect shade of squishy. <laughs> and I put them all in a blender. Yeah, I put beans in a blender. Add some water, a tiny bit of salt, and I made homemade refried beans. Refried beans. Although I didn't actually refry them yet, I'm. I just don't want to do that. It's a lot of work. Excuse me, but uh, so that's a plus. I mean, I didn't add any lard. I just added oil and a little bit of salt, and I added like a little garlic salt just to you know kick it up. It was pretty good. I mean, I have like two huge like bowls the size of my head filled with refried beans, and I'm like, I don't even have tortillas. What am I going to do with these? I don't know. I just I wanted to see if I could make it, and now I know I can, but there's a lot of refried beans at my house right now. All right. Well, I'm going to skedaddle again. No trainer for me today. Hmm.